I think I'm I'm sure I said that in other videos before too. Vagabond, I understand why people love it. Okay. I also understand that Inoue is is a great mangaka. I also understand that the story of Musashi, the historical one and the one depicted in the novel, is uh, super relatable, inspiring, uh, full of wisdom and so on. I understand why people love it, okay? The art is fantastic. Um, historical accuracy, th there are some parts that I wish were done better. But but it's okay, like it it feels real, like the violence, the daily violence in the daily lives, it's it's uh shown perfectly. Um so I see the merits of Vagabond. The reason why I'm saying I'm giving it just three or five or so more volumes is because it's boring to me. <laughs> It sounds so bad, but it's not because I'm such a shallow, non-introspective person. Have you have you watched my videos? I I try to dissect things that are thrown my way. Okay, I'm reading one chapter for an hour. I I do love uh, using my brain and being overwhelmed because I'm so dumb. Okay, or having things touch me emotionally. I I do love that. You know. Um. It's just that Vagabond is not giving that to me. <laughs> I And I will double down on what I said in a previous stream. I think with, uh, especially seinen, uh, or most, okay, everyone has that one manga or anime that is super special to them. That basically it has become part of their personality, is uh, the love of their life and so on. That they can um, associate with the heart and their being, okay? Everyone has that, probably. And I think... For you to have that, you need to read that in your formative years. For it to have such an uh, effect on you that you're still passionate about it. That it uh, touched you in such a way that it changed your life, kind of. Or the outlook on your life. So, um formative years or maybe at a point where you needed that story specifically okay i'm past my formative years i'm 26 and i have that manga already that did that to me it's berserk so um vagabond is not giving me anything new like when it comes to self-realization or you know, pondering about life, about, I don't know, society, the universe, my position in life, what my path is supposed to be, stuff like that. I don't get that anymore. I'm, I'm going to repeat, I'm 26. <laughs> I've, I've had enough time to go through that mental process and that emotional growth so far. I'm not saying I'm done and nothing's going to ever change. I'm just saying I'm going through that already in, in life itself, you know. I'm reading so many, like, I'm studying in university. I I have people that I talk to. I have media that I consume, so many media, uh, different types of media that I consume. I'm basically, I'm, I'm a well that has been filled. I, I don't think... Anything that I watch or read or so can can change me anymore, like, uh, and, and have such an impact on me that I'm gonna relate my life to it. I don't think that can happen anymore. I I have I do have some manga that I uh, find super inspiring in a sense, like if I want to be a writer, this is where I'm gonna look towards. This is what I'm going to hold myself to, this type of standard. That, yes, I do see that in so many places. Um, but for me as a person, like the growth for me as a person, that type of inspiration, I don't think I can find anywhere anymore because um, my outlook on life is such that I'm pretty much stable, you know. 
I'm stable and I'm um, at peace with myself. So I don't think anything can come in. Anything ha that anything out there has some space to come in between me and myself anymore. Uh, if that makes any sense to you. Which is why Vagabond is not giving me anything in the inspiration like for writing purposes or um, I don't know creative outlet type of thing I'm not getting that um, I'm also not getting anything that's um, adding something new to my life okay I do find some things relatable and that is fine but that is it if a story just has to offer you something to relate to, I don't think that's enough to make a, a story that you enjoy as a reader. Uh, maybe it's still a good story, but maybe it's not enough to make you enjoy it. Um, if it's just, you know, the relatableness of a story. Uh, and I think that's enough of a monologue. I've uh, wasted almost 10 minutes without having read any chapter yet. So, uh, I, I just wanted to give you the reason why I'm not into Vagabond without hopefully being disrespectful. If you enjoy Vagabond or uh, if you're a creator, <laughs> I'm not I'm not here to diss creators of stories. I They're already so many steps ahead of me. I could never. That, that, that wouldn't that would be arrogant as fuck. And I, as I said, I do admire Inoue. I, I think he's one of the coolest dudes out there, and especially one of the greatest mangaka out there. So, I'm not trying to bash anyone when I just try to tell you why my tastes differ. Okay? That is the entire reason why uh, this tangent here exists. But okay. Vagabond, Volume 7, start. Yagyu. You mustn't be so rash. You'll undermine your true strength if you get too worked up. Yagyu Tajima no Kamimune Yoshi. Quite an intense young man. The names at that time were so cool. 67 Kami Izumi Ise no Kami Hidetsuna. Look at that name. What's this? Intimidating me with his key? Yeah, that's that's the mana, the key. No, this is a reflection of myself. It's my own bloodthirst. Ise no Kami has no bloodthirst whatsoever. How? How can that be? No one can deny that he's the great- I'm so fucking bored of this sword and fighting and- Oh my god. Ah. Uh. All of them just contemplating the sword and the real way to fight and how to stand and how to duel. Oh my god, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's just the same thing over and over again. It's the same men do going through the same things facing an opponent finding their master contemplating their lives and their techniques having uh, inner thoughts and monologues about their opponent and themselves and so it's the same thing everyone does it inshun does it we've seen him have this inner monologue about his path and his fighting uh, uh path we've we've seen that with uh even with Matahachi, even though Matahachi is the most interesting because things happen in his life. <laughs> we, we've seen that with Takizo, we've seen that now with this, with every character that gets shown. We had the same thing happen again and again. And everyone arrives at the same conclusion all the time. I... Uh... Oh my god. When is this going to end? <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> uh is 7 volumes enough? I'm going to finish this volume and then not get back into Vagabond. I can't. 
People need to tell me, when does it get better? Please, when does it do something else except that? Which I described now in frustration. When does it give me something else? <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, I actually fell asleep for a moment and woke up just now. Yeah, I... Uh... Oh my god, no one can deny that the greatest... Okay, you gotta do it too now. What's your way of the sword, huh? I... I do not care for the way of the sword. At all. I do not need it, okay? We're... We're in a mass extinction event. I do not care for the sword, okay? Like, there's... Uh, there's people dying. Because of, you know capitalism and the environment being destroyed i do not care for the sword the sword is not gonna make the world better i it i don't know man i i i really don't care for the sword i do not care for the martial arts yeah okay maybe yeah i mean it's okay if you do if you care if that's your path i'm just saying it doesn't do it for me. I'm so fucking bored. I I cannot relate at all. I really don't care about the sword and the way of the sword. I d I do not. I do not. Ah. <sighs> it's like take any type of art out there. And now make an entire series about their thoughts on that art. Yeah, okay, maybe if you're, let's say, uh, painting. Okay, painting. Oil painting in specific. Oil painting in, in the Impressionist style. Okay, or oil, oil painting in general. Let's take in general. And you have many different uh, styles of oil paintings and, and such and, and techniques to use. Okay, uh, let's take oil paintings. I, if you're not into oil painting yourself and finding your own style and contemplating the art itself, I don't think reading an entire manga series about the philosophy behind oil paintings and people contemplating their style of oil painting and the techniques is going to do anything to you, okay? It's going to enrich you in any way. I'm sorry, I'm just not interested in reading about people thinking about their art. I'm really not. I... I couldn't be less interested in something. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy art, okay? The finished products. And maybe I want to get into art myself too. But the, 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 the reading a series about characters thinking about the meaning behind oil paintings, for example. And, and, and honing their oil painting techniques. And you watch them hone their techniques and then, I don't know, let's say they have a, an art competition in oil paintings. And before they even start the first stroke, they look at each other the entire volume and think about how they can one-up their opponent in the oil painting, I take any art, okay? Take any art. It is not interesting to me to read an entire manga series about people philosophizing their interpretation and their path into this art. I am so not interested. I can't do anything with that. Give me a good story. I read manga for the story. I read manga to get to know someone's inner creations, you know, creating worlds, characters, people, and their struggles and so on. I want to read a good story. I do not care about... If I want to read about the philosophy of anything, I'm going to take a book, read some discourse of whatever topic that I'm interested in. Let's say uh, international relations 
and you have several different people who wrote books on that and how to approach that. Or, I don't know, let's say political science. Then you have so many people that you can read if you're interested in political science and then read about their takes on the entire topic. Yes, then I would read that. But I'm reading fiction and comics to get good stories, to be inspired by good stories, world building and art and so on. I, the, okay, the, uh, Vagabond just misses my point in why I'm reading manga in general, which is why I don't vibe with it. I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> like, I'm not, I want just a good story <laughs> that gives me inspiration for my own future endeavors in perhaps creating a story, okay? That's something that I wish to do one day. And I want to see how other people do it. This is not a, a piece of fiction that someone has created. This is just a biography on the philosophy on an art. I do not care about that. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> As I said, if I want to get to know some thoughts on specific topics that I'm interested in myself, like let's say political science, then I'm gonna read those, okay? I'm gonna take those books, read the discourse on that topic, uh, and and have that be useful to me uh, if I want to use that knowledge in a meaningful way too. Yes, then I will do that and read that. Uh, this is not offering me anything that I can take away from. I I cannot gain anything anything from reading vagabond not on a creative level or some you know or, or some on, on a self-fulfilling level nor on a, any type of level i do not care about the philosophy on the sword i'm not the target audience reader of of this manga i i recognize that now i'm not the target this is supposed to be read by uh, I'm, I do not belong within the target readership. And, uh, I need, I think, um, I needed to come to that conclusion on stream, uh, within seven volumes. Uh, I'm surprised it took me that long, but maybe that's not even, uh, you know, long enough. Maybe I could have been convinced in volume eight or something, but I, I can't, I need, I, I'll drop this today. <laughs> I can't read Vagabond anymore. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'm not gonna put myself through that. And I, I think it also would be disrespectful for viewers who really enjoy Vagabond and want to see someone react to the manga that they love. I can't lie to you. And you're probably not enjoying someone who's not enjoying what you enjoy. Uh, so I, I'm not gonna put any viewers through this. I'm not gonna put me through this. I... I'm officially admitting on stream that I am not interested in Vagabond and Vagabond is not interested in readers like me. Like, uh, our interests, uh, they diverge, Vagabonds and mine. And it's a completely okay thing, okay? I am okay with it. Everyone else should be okay with it. It is okay that I am not part of the target readership. This is not for me. I'm dropping this. <laughs> I'm not even sure I want to continue Volume 7. The more I read of these, the more upset I get and the more I want to just drop it. I'm just going to drop it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to read the chat now. Uh... Uh, I have no idea. I only remember the pictures laughing. This is why I love Vagabond streams because I get just so frustrated. Does that mean you're not looking forward to the Musashi Learns oil painting arc? I'm really not. I'm really not. That person lived hundreds of years ago. Uh, he achieved all his dreams. Good for him. Uh, he inspired so many people. Good for him. Good for them. I, I'm not interested in him. I'm really not. A lot of interesting people uh, existed, but I'm not interested in them. 
The best arc, in my opinion, he is staring at the canvas for 40 chapters in philosophical painting in his mind. <laughs> Slow clap. Oh, I'm enjoying this very much. I am happy you are enjoying this. I can't do this anymore. Dropping this at volume 7. I'm sorry, I, I can't go through with this. It's just not my thing. I I'm just bored in every fucking stream. I'm not interested. So, uh... Sorry about that. I hope you don't take offense in that, uh, whoever might be watching this and is really into Vagabond and can derive some value out of reading Vagabond. I cannot. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It's not that Vagabond failed. It, it's, it's just that Vagabond and I... Different paths, okay? Different interests. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, well, I guess that concludes the Vagabond series, Let's Read series, on my channel. <laughs> I went back on my own word that I'm gonna give it 10 to 15 volumes. I just can't. I, I can't. Why do I need to put myself through 10 entire volumes uh, in order to find some enjoyment in this? I... I get so much more enjoyment within the first volume of Doro He Doro. There you go. Uh, yeah, this is this is not me. Uh, this is not for me. Uh, and I am not for a Vagabond. So next time, we're instead... Instead of Vagabond, we're starting to read... Uh, Slam Dunk. We're staying with the Inoue theme, okay? Uh... Slam dunk, because unlike Vagabond, I enjoyed the few chapters that I read of Slam Dunk. Uh, so, I'm, I'm gonna read Slam Dunk uh, next time. May, or, because I said I wanna read interviews, like every time that I conclude a manga series, I wanna read interviews with the creators and get more insight into this work of theirs and so on. I don't know if I should do that next time, so after concluding the Vagabond series on my channel, or if I should do that after Slam Dunk. I'm gonna think about that, but yeah, Slam Dunk next time uh, is, is the next series that will replace Vagabond. Because, yeah, I had so much fun with uh, Slam Dunk. Uh, I think I only read like 25 or 40 or so chapters, maybe 40 chapters, and those were fun. Uh, so I want to get back, and I also like basketball. So, <laughs> uh, so that that's a sport that I can kind of find some enjoyment in, like just the martial art of sword fighting. I can't do anything with that. It's not a sport that you go watch and that you, I don't know, uh, have uh, people watching and being in a frenzy and, and I don't know, cheering for teams. Nah. So, uh, I'm, yeah, officially giving up. Giving up on Vagabond and uh, picking Slam Dunk instead. <laughs> now, uh, I have a theory. <laughs> Without having read any interviews, without knowing anything about Inoue, okay? I just know that Inoue started with Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk was a big hit. It's, it's a fun read. Uh, so many people enjoyed it. It's still one of the best shonen and considered the best sports manga out there. So Inoue really did something when he made Slam Dunk, okay? Uh, and then... He, he, you know, traded balls for wisdom. So he chose Vagabond for some wisdom. Now, we know that since 2008 or so, Inoue hasn't fucking touched Vagabond. <laughs> and I think... Uh, it's... It, we, we, you're okay if you assume that this wisdom that he traded his balls for that this wisdom told him, now, better go back to balls. 
<laughs> so instead he's just drawing more basketball manga now. We know he's working on basketball manga instead of Vagabond. People, readers of Vagabond are there waiting like, oh, it's just a little hiatus. Like, he's gonna come back. I'm sure of it. Bitch, I think he got so bored of Vagabond himself that he decided like, no, I can't continue this. I, I need to go have some fun with basketball again. I... I think he bored himself to death, almost. And before he died, he was like, What is my purpose? Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I drawing Vagabond? Instead of drawing basketball manga, where I create something, stories, characters, why am I drawing someone else's life that I'm so not interested in? I want basketball! <laughs> this is my headcanon now of uh, Inoue. Please just take this uh, with, a, with fun, okay, with humor. Please don't take me too seriously <laughs> when I say this. It's just what I like to imagine, as I am being bored by Vagabond so much that I'm imagining, oh, it would be fun if Inoue went through the same thought process. He was like, I love basketball. Now let's try something new, something more mature, something more for the brain, you know, or for the soul. And then he's like, no, fuck this shit. I that was a good run. Like, okay, you took 10 or 20 years of my life, but I'm gonna go back to my basketball, to my actual fucking passion. This is, this is the, the headcanon that I have. <laughs> but we'll find out when we read interviews with Inoue. I, I just can't do this anymore. I'm reading the chat now before I go say bye-bye. Uh, I very much support this. The... It gets good at volume 576 was never a good argument for me. Yeah, same. Holy shit, slam dunk. This was Elda's farming arc. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I never really got into slam dunk. It has many of the same hangups as Vagabond to me. I read just 40 chapters and those were fun. But I will find out if they stay fun. Okay? I This is why I'm gonna read slam dunk. I'm gonna not be so biased because... uh. I, I just read what I read and I had fun with that, but at some point I also stopped because I was like, okay, uh, I can do different things, but I want to get back into it, try again, and see if it's going to keep me hooked, okay? If it's going to bore me just like Vagabond, then I'm going to drop Slam Dunk too. Get, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not just being like, uh... A simp for a mangaka just because he's so famous and talented and recognized in the industry. Really, I, as I said, all respect to all mangaka out there. There's some basic type of respect I have for all. And depending on what they draw, what they depict, that is respect can decline or increase. With Inoue, it's, it's, it's really high. Like, the respect I have for him is really high. So if I drop Slam Dunk and I dropped Vagabond, it just means I don't vibe with Inoue, okay? It doesn't mean that he's bad or that I look down on him and his craft. No. It just means that I don't vibe with it. I still respect him and I respect his fans. And I can see why they love it. It's just that I don't have the same criteria for that love to blossom, okay? I don't have that in me. So I'm gonna be very open-minded about Slam Dunk, uh, just as I've been with Vagabond. But I'm also gonna be strict. If I don't like it, if I don't enjoy it, I'm not gonna put anyone, not you, not me, through it. So, um... But I'll I'll give it a try because I want to try another Inoue uh, creation and see how he is when he does everything from scratch. You know the story, the characters, the uh, the art, and so on. When when he invents what's going on, when he has control of the the flow and the story, I want to see his creativity. How he is when he does everything from scratch. And then I can truly say, like, okay, maybe his works are either not my style because they're adaptations and boring in and of themselves, or I don't like his creations because I I'm, I don't vibe with him and how he creates stuff. Like, it doesn't matter if they're adaptations or completely um, his own thing. 
I want to see if I don't vibe with Inoue uh, because of either that or the other reason. So, with that being said, okay, more chat messages. The interview mentions his, uh, this in much more polite and sophisticated words. Wait, what? To be fair, I never really got into... Okay, also, last Vagabond chapter was 2013 or 16. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I just know that... Uh, I have no idea. Okay, I, I do not know. I had no idea. Maybe he hasn't given up on Vagabond. Maybe... Maybe he is gonna come back to it. But maybe he just needed a real fucking break from the boringness. <laughs> In order to be able, just like I need those days between um, each Vagabond read with other manga that I actually enjoy in order to have the strength to go back into Vagabond. Each week I was like dreading Vagabond, but because I read the interesting manga that I'm really into, I get the strength to go through the dread uh, with Vagabond. So maybe he is like that too. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know what you mean, Epi, with the interview mentions this in much more polite and sophisticated words. I have no idea which interview and what you're talking about. Good stream. True, you know, it'd be like wheelchair basketball over boring samurai swish swoosh. Hey, maybe my head cannon is true. <laughs> uh, I joined at the right time, Elda's rant, and, and it's over now. Slam dunk and deep purple. IQ does everything slam dunk does, but much better in my opinion. Okay. I'm going to have to see that, too, because I love Haikyuu. I love Haikyuu. But also remember that Slam Dunk was basically a pioneer in the genre, okay? In, in sports manga. It was... It uh, influenced so many other sports manga after, and it's completely okay if uh, sports manga that come after Slam Dunk do a better job. It's like, you know, Devilman. It, it reads like a shitpost, the original Devilman. But every mangaka that Devilman inspired does such a good job at basically trying to portray or um, communicate the same things, uh, which is okay. But you still got to recognize Devilman for what it is. And uh, same thing with Slam Dunk. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to see how I enjoy it. Um, and yeah. How about read real instead of slam dunk? Mm, but slam dunk is complete. Better start with that. Yeah, yeah. I want to start with slam dunk and not real. Real maybe later on. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, this this is it now. Vagabond is dropped, and also I f I put the wrong title in the in the Twitch stream. I fucking knew something would go wrong. So, thank you for joining me on this uh, enlightenment journey where I get enlightened about the fact that I don't like Vagabond. And, <laughs> speaking of Devilman, have you seen Devilman Crybaby? Stop it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I, I didn't. <laughs> but I learned something new. Okay, I learned something new about myself and about... Um, how I approach manga, okay? At least I got something valuable out of this. This is a lesson I had to learn through pain, and this is okay, this is life. Uh, totally fine. So um, the next stream is on Monday, and it's gonna be Solo Leveling and Chainsaw Man, thank God. All right, um, thank you for joining. You replace Vagabond to Slam Dunk, yes. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, it was a short ride, but I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Hope you have a nice day, evening, or night, wherever you are. Have a nice weekend, and see you next time. Bye-bye.